Real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. It's your Sabrina. If you don't know, now you know when I were best friends. Nice to meet you, sis. So go ahead, make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. And when you do, turn on your push notifications so you never miss a video. And follow me on social media because I do post there outside of YouTube. Thank you so much, Beauty Forever, for sponsoring today's video. I'm going to show you guys the unboxing. They send you everything that you need and more. You'll get an edge brush. You'll get lashes that you'll actually wear. A wig cap. A nice protective baggie for your wig. And they send you jewelry. Girl, they sent me some bomb earrings. I'm going to show y'all a picture in the corner. Like, what? I wore those on my birthday. They were super cute. So, we love that, okay? All of the details of this hair, the length, the density, etc. will be in the description box below. So, make sure you check that out. And let's get right into the tutorial. I have already customized this wig, meaning I've plucked it, I've bleached it. I kind of over bleached it, but it's okay. We'll fix it later. And now I'm going to show you guys how exactly I got my blonde patch. So I know that I wanted a side part. So I wanted to place my patch right here to kind of give like a peekaboo effect. So all you're going to do is section out your part and then you're going to make sure that you cover the rest of the hair in something that will protect it from the bleach and the developer so i decided to use some plastic girl right from my kitchen and i used t-pins to make sure that it didn't go anywhere and i'm going to show you guys the wella charma in the 30 volume developer by clairol that i use in just a second Basically, all I'm going to do is create a very thick consistency with these two products. Something similar to toothpaste, but a little bit more runny. And once I get it looking like that, I'm just going to place that all over the hair. I already has some left over from bleaching my knots. But yeah, I'm just going to put that all over the hair. I'm going to use my hands to really massage it. So I'm definitely going to put on gloves. And please excuse my nails in this video. Girl, I'm in the process of taking them off, but yeah, this thick consistency is going to be my base. I'm going to tell you guys that I did this process twice, three times actually, yeah. Um, first time I did it, the consistency was very thick. Second time, I added way more developer, and I'm going to come back and tell you guys why I did it a third time. Basically, the ends were darker than the roots, but yeah, we didn't get there yet, so let me stop rambling. And let me show y'all this process.
the purpose of me putting a thick consistency on first was to make sure that the bleach actually stuck to the hair and it wasn't going to run right off onto my floors, girl. Then I'll have a big mess. Then I went in and added more developer because it basically already had that layer on the hair and it was already nice and coated so it made the process way less messy okay after i do this i'm gonna massage it really nicely into the hair and i'm also gonna wrap it in foil foil plus light adds heat to the hair and it makes it develop a little bit quicker i think that's how you explain it um please when i ask in the comments how long i left the bleach on there because girl this is what happened i took a nap I ate some food, I woke up, I forgot that I was doing hair, and then I got back to it. So, yeah. So, right here is what the hair looks like after the first two rounds. And it was a pretty color, but it was inconsistent. The roots were much lighter than the ends, which usually happens with hair. I don't know why. So I went back in with more bleach in developer and this is the color that i got and i absolutely loved it after i got this i made sure to wash it with purple shampoo that's going to take out all the brassiness and it's going to give you a nice bright almost like a whiter color it's going to look so pretty in the end trust me so hey girl hey this is me and this is she after i have washed conditioned let the hair air dry overnight and i put some curls in it i did not show y'all the curls because it would have just made this video super long they're also already falling so i'm going to show you guys how i touch it up in the end don't worry and now it's time to lay my hair down so i can put on the wig y'all have seen me lay down and do my ball cap method a thousand and one times yes yes so watch it again <laughs> She see money all around me I look like I'm the man yeah. But I was down and down like last week Tell me where have you been yeah. Came out of hiding, girl Don't act like I'm your man You're just a fan You don't hold me No, 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 no Don't hold no Really that nigga with a sick ass flow for that slick ass flow. Uh-huh. Got your bitch around me, nigga. Can't yeah, plan when I'm coming for the kitty. Got my full goddamn. Yeah. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Yeah. Do it for my niggas in the ghost right there. Yeah. Niggas got killed for the boy, living dreams and the kills. And they watching for the boy right now. Goddamn, what a time, what a kill. Yeah. Feel what them young boys feel. Yeah. I kill, never be killed. That's real, no lie. You can tell it from my peers right now. Bitch, yeah. you wanna fuck me down. Bitch, yeah. you wanna love me down. Girl, yeah. you can't tie me down like Ray J said, but no, I'm down. Freaking nigga, you me stuff. Take it like your own mixed up Push it on the pussy like a button Keep on the top, keep on the bottom Still getting rowdy in the bunch Bitches on my chain like it's up Everywhere I go now All the guys get around me Jump it, jump it, jump it, jump it Hey, nice to meet One thing I will say about Beauty Forever's wigs is that the hairline is very much so realistic. So I had to go in with my handy dandy lip liner to outline the cap because the one thing I hate is when people cap shows underneath their wigs. I don't got time for that. So right now I'm just tracing out my hairline. Girl, don't be nervous. A lot of wig is going to be on my forehead, but I promise you it's going to look really realistic because the lace on this wig is amazing. I probably have said that with other wigs in the past, but this one right here takes the cake. Also, you see how good the wig is because the the hair in the front is blonde. <laughs> like hello like you can see straight through and it matches perfectly to my skin we love that so right now i'm just using ghost bond to lay this wig down i cut it into threes um i put on one layer and then i took some alcohol and took the tracing off of my head because you don't want that makeup underneath your lace and then i'm gonna do another layer of glue and i'm gonna lay her down it's very self-explanatory i know y'all tired of hearing me talk so i'm gonna jump back in when needed but please enjoy the music I'm 
like you want it. No. Tell them that we ain't starting it. Fuck down, we ain't buying it. Think of this crack and I'm making. Come here without a permit. This shit really a trouble. The real is at the end of the I said earlier I did go ahead and curl my hair but the curls fail don't get me wrong this hair really does hold a curl it's just I took a really long time to put this wig on in between styling it okay so do y'all see how cute this peekaboo patch is like, it just gives a little extra. I was so sick and tired of every company sending me black hair. I decided to do something different. And I'm, I'm excited. Like, I'm going to try out some different colors, okay? So now I'm getting into laying the hair down. I over bleached my knots, y'all, but it's okay. The next time I wear this, I'll go in with a little bit of black dye on the roots. And I'll be fine. But... This hair was really soft and easy to manage. I'm not going to lie. The blonde patch does feel a little bit more dry, but it's because I processed the hair. Other than that, I did experience a tiny bit of shedding. I'm not sure if that's because I processed the hair or what, but a little bit of shedding. But I don't care about none of that because the lace in the hair is so bomb. I'm doing my baby hairs and it's going to take me a while because, girl... I be very particular with my baby hairs, but just know that I'm doing the arrogant sailor, you know, flat iron type of thing. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. But um, I love this wig. I will say that I do not like 13 by 4s. I'm not sure if this is a 13 by 4 or 13 by 6, but I do know that the sides aren't fully laced. I just don't like wigs like that. But other than that, everything was perfect about this hair. So... I'm into it. If y'all enjoyed this tutorial, make sure y'all like, comment, and share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all at the end of the video. styling laying and slaying this is the final product i really really enjoyed it i'm so so sorry that i did not come back at the end of the video to like properly close it out but i hope y'all enjoyed thank you again so much beauty forever for sponsoring this video i can't believe i'm working with a company that i used to like stalk like stop playing like ah but yeah i'm so so grateful for you guys all of y'all love and support i really appreciate it and yeah i will see you in the next one comment down below what style i should do next okay bye mamas mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Holy, got a dumpy, yeah, boy. Uh.